it's okay. It's okay. I'm fine. Hey! Hey! It's okay. Put yourself together. Oh my Okay. Hey! It's something that you cannot reverse. You can't pay yourself for it. Just put yourself together. My friend, you don't understand. You don't understand. It's gone. Paul is gone. It's gone. I won't see me. I cannot live without him. Oh, okay, okay. So if, you I live live without him. Listen, if you cannot live without him, what about your kids? You have to live for them. They need you to be strong right now. He was, he was my everything. He was my everything. We've been through thick and thin together. I can't. What did you just say? That Paul was your everything? How dare you? After all you did to him. Are you ashamed of this crocodile here? See, this is not the time for us to fight one another or portion blame. God will judge you. Let's all calm down and respect the dead. All we should be concerned about now are the kids. Where are they? Take heart, eh? And be strong, okay? Your mommy is here for you. I know what has happened is very painful, but you have to be strong for her, okay? Hmm? <laughs> he was a good man. He was a hardworking and loving father. But now he's gone. <laughs> His sickness took him off guard. Of that don't say that. You have to love your mother. She's the only person you have now. Okay? And I know your mother loves the both of you dearly. But she doesn't love that. <laughs> she did all the good things to him. <laughs> and now he's gone. And never to come back again. I know your dad is dead, but he'll always be in your heart. So anytime you miss him, you just think of one sweet moment that you guys had shared. Okay? Please. I'm, and I'm here for you. So wipe your tears. Wipe your tears. Hmm? Wipe your tears today. What a world. How could Prisca act that way? After all those talks about being tired of her husband, calling him a good-for-nothing man, but here she is, crying, screaming over her late husband because he's no more. Hey. What about me? I have been treating my husband with contempt. What if I was the one who lost her husband? I will only be left with memories of our fighting and quarreling and arguing. Hi, just how did I turn out to be so mean and cold-hearted to my husband? Susan, what were you thinking? Uh, 
Ah, Gabito. Hey, friend. Yeah. How's it going? Cool, cool, cool. These are the supposed sites uh, sent by the government to, to be surveyed. Does it also have the certified documents transferring land ownership from individuals to the government? Of course, everything is contained there. Uh, Let's go through then, you know, append the signature at the right place. Okay. Yeah. Gabe, hmm? what's that? What? Oh, that? Yeah. Gift I got for my wife, Valentine Day things. Oh, really? Yeah. Looks very nice. I hope she likes it. Ah, I hope she does too, because I spent a lot of money on that. Yeah, it looks it. What about you? Are you not getting something for your girl? I already did. You know, I've even sent it to her. I hope she doesn't complain this time. Ah, like she has a choice. Man, you don't know women. You never can tell. Okay, so it. <laughs> I'll see you later. All right. Darlings, how are you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're welcome. Mm. You're welcome. Mm. How was your day? My day was fine. It's just as I've just been dealing with customers' complaints. Th these people are something. You see something online. You see a dress that you like. And you ask for it, I ship it to them. And the next minute, they return it over one silly complaint or one small excuse. It's out of it. Uh, I understand, my love. But, well, you know, as annoying as these customers are, they still pay our bills, you know. Well? Yes. But if it's any compensation, I got you a little something. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, my love. Oh, baby. And thank you for being the sun that rises by my side every day. Don't you like it? It's fine. It's just fine. I gave say, I specifically asked you for a diamond necklace. You know I don't wear this. But well, babe, this thing is expensive now. It's just like, this is 22 karat gold. I know it's not what you want, but you know, it's just as expensive. Gabriel, next time, make sure it is made out of diamonds, okay? Okay, <laughs> fine. All right, I'll make it diamond next time. <laughs> I have something for you. <laughs> This is wait till morning. He cannot wait. It's very important. I'm, I'm also up. So let's let's talk. What is it? It's about the children's school fees. Uh, I just want to know what you're doing about it. And then also, I need money to go to the market. To buy things for the kitchen. The house is empty. Susan, the children's school fees are about half a million. Eh? We agreed that I'll take care of the school fees while you take care of the food stuff in the house. Isn't that what you discussed? Excuse me? Gabriel, I don't understand. What do you mean I should take care of the food stuff? Are you not the head of the family? Are you not the man of the house? Is it not your responsibility? Susan. You know, as well as I do, that we both discuss this thing because of the numerous projects I have at hand, that we share these responsibilities. What of the village and the, the, the house I'm building, building in the village that's costing me so much money? We discuss this now. So because Gabriel is building a house in the village, my children and I should die of kwashoko. We should die of hunger. Is that what you're saying? 
We are husband and wife. We're actually supposed to share responsibilities. All I'm asking is that we, just this period of time, we share these responsibilities until things settle down. Well, I'm not sharing anything with anybody. Gabriel, <laughs> listen, the earlier you understand that every finance in this house is your responsibility, the better for you, okay? I hope you comprehend. Fred, what's up with this now? Oh, what's the matter? I got the call from you. Is everything okay? Oh. Guy, drop this thing first. Talk to me. Bro, I've been dumped. She's broken up with me. My God. You're joking. I'm being very frank. You know how hard I've worked to make sure that she lacks nothing, but this is what I'm getting. Yeah, I know how much you love her, but what happened? I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't really know. You know, I'm, you know, I was planning on going to meet the parents this month, and you know now. What the, you, the people they talk about? Yes, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, she kept complaining. I don't really know. What exactly did she say you did wrong? Well, I know that I am not fantastic. I am too hard working for her. I don't even have time for her and all that. I don't understand. Guy, I have been working to make sure that our tomorrow is good. So I don't know when that has become an offense. You understand that? So I don't know, hmm. frankly. See, if she says she wants to go, let her go. Hmm. I mean, yeah, that's what it is. Well, let her go. I, mean, I don't even have any alternative. But let me be frank with you. Uh, she's like every other woman. Women are hard to be trusted. Women are, they just, they, 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 they are all the same. Um, you can't trust any of them. Not all. Not all of them. Some of them are actually nice. But, okay, you know, I know why you're saying this. Because of your wife, right? I know. Is that, is that true? Uh, well, yes. Guy, let me tell you, I am happy you are sending this plane out now in case it happens to you. Every woman is the same. There is no exception. Um, listen, yeah. yes, I agree. Women are nags. My own wife nags as well. Okay. But if you look deep down, she's an absolute angel. Oh, uh, my brother, let me tell you, I, I, I don't think I will ever love you. Any of that woman. I see them all as the same. Mm. Okay. No. Uh, uh, no. Enough of this one. Mm? I'm oh. taking you home. Oh. Huh? Your car is here, B. It's not. It's not. We'll leave it. Yes. We'll go in my car. Too. What? Bama! You came home late today. Your children tried waiting for you. Yes, um... I had to drop Fred at home. Fred, when did he become his driver? It's not that. It's just that um, I was going through some really terrible stuff that made him drink so much. Rendering him unable to drive himself home, so I had to take him home for his safety. So what is wrong with Fred? You will not believe what happened. You know his girlfriend that I love so much that he's been dating for a little while. She dumped him all. She dumped him. Just when he was about to see her parents and see them to introduce, like, make an introduction like, of his intentions to her. And what was her reason? That um, <laughs> he doesn't give her attention.
Babes, you're not saying anything. What do you want me to say? Fred breaking up with his girlfriend has nothing to do with me. I mean, if the girl says she wants attention, Fred should give her attention. If he cannot, he should let her go. But you know the nature of his job now? It's, it's a lot of pressure on it. You know, it's as if women start to change. I mean, some women, they just change without notice, you know? They just change for the worse without any notice whatsoever. If you're a human being, change is inevitable. Please, can we eat in silence? Well, good morning. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, the kids are fine. Ah, when are you coming? Next week. Ah, no problem. You're, you're free now. My house is open to you anytime. Ah, yeah, I'm, I'm taking them to school right now. Okay, Mama. Bye-bye. How is your mother? Oh, she's fine. Hmm. Wow, Dad, is it mama's really good? I have missed Grandma. Really? Me too, Dad. I really want to see her. Well, you're going to spend all the time you can with her when she comes next week, okay? Okay. Uh, Come in where? We don't even have time for visitors in this house. Uh, Susan, she's my mother. And your in law as well. She's not a visitor. Whatever. Are you guys leaving or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, sure. As soon as you let us go, yeah. Enter, enter. Give me this one. Yeah, enter. Right. Bye. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm. Angel. Ah. Now we have a problem. What is it? Oh. The, the, the senior officer of the uh, environmental department ordered the team to put that job on hold. What? That's true. Why? I don't know. No, no, no. That's, that's not possible. We're giving this month to finish that project. Imagine. So I don't even know why, you know, I'm so surprised, you know, when I called, they said uh, the country was passing through economic deficit. I don't understand that. No. This is a country, a big one now. We can't afford to lose it. Oh, jeez. No, 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 ah. no, no, no. What, what, what are the Soviet team? What are they saying? I don't actually know that. I guess they're not okay with the destruction at all. Okay, you know what? I'll put a call to them to see if we can resolve this. In the meantime, you go and have the talk with the affected team, okay? Okay, no problem. I'll get back to you. This. Don't you know where to put these things? Babe, can you help me do it? I'm, I'm late for a meeting. I I'm... can't. I'm busy as well. You have to do it by yourself. Okay, so I'll, I'll do it when I get back then. Gabriel, look at how messy the place is. You have to do it now. Take them now. Fine, I'll do it. Oh, um, Mama wants to prepare bitter leaf soup, so could you give her money to do it and I'll refund you when I get back? I don't have any money. I, I said I'll refund you when I get back. I don't have any money. Whenever you have money, you give it to her to buy. Buy the things or cook the soup. Speaking of mama, when is she leaving? 
What kind of rubbish question is that? Uh, Susan, please, let this be the first and last time you ask me that kind of rubbish question again. Is that clear? This is grandma special. <laughs> wow, mama, this food is tasty. I love it. <laughs> you like it. What's going on here? Mommy, grandma made us a nice meal. And what happened to the one I made for you guys? Mommy, we don't want that. We want fufu and bitter leaf soup. The both of you, upstairs to your room. Susan, uh, no, not yet. Until we are done with our meal. What meal? Bright! Come and get that food and get upstairs. I'm talking to eating. See, the both of you, to your room. I don't want to meet you in the living room up there. Susan, what's wrong with you? Are you out of your mind? No, Mama. But this should be the last time you give my children anything without my approval. Hold on. Do I need your approval before I feed my grandchildren? Mama, you do! This are my nine months! I can't remember myself! Feed your own child! Why can you not have one that is nine months? People are leaving. They have lost confidence. They have lost trust. I don't understand what's going on. And if it continues like this, believe you me, before the next annual general meeting, we'll kiss that job so far. I've done the best I could. I mean, nothing seems to be working in all, all the contacts in, in government are saying they have no answer. They can't do anything about our situation. My God. God. <sighs> Our fate will be decided in the next quarterly general meeting. We're this close. We're this close to getting it right. I don't know what went wrong. God! Ah! <sighs> Bro, I'm so sorry. I did everything I could. Everything. It's not your fault. We're in it together. It's all right. It's okay. Let me get to my office. Yeah. Um, well, my wedding anniversary is coming up, so I decided to get something for Susan. Oh, even in the midst of these problems, you still find time to buy her gifts. Mm. Honestly, I admire your love for her. Exactly. Ah, yeah. Uh, well, you know, the truth is, um, Susan is my love. She's a precious jewel to me, and I just love her, cherish her so much. Yes, I mean, she might have her off days, you know, where she's acting up and everything, but, you know, I just see it as a challenge, you know? Makes me love her more and more every day. But, that I know you're fine. Frankly, I know you love her unconditionally. But the question is, does she love you as much as you love her? Because these women, women are terrible. The more you think you know them, the more you get to know that you're just even beginning to know them. So I know. So my, my problem is that I don't know if she loves you as much as you do. Because if she does, fine. If she does not, it's a problem. So that's just my problem. I think I have to leave here now. Bye.
Welcome home. Hey, honey. Mama. I will just take a shower and I'll serve your food. Not so fast. I have something for you. Okay. I got you something. What are we celebrating? Ah, it's a wedding anniversary. You know, there's one thing I said I will never forget, and that is our wedding anniversary. I will never forget it the day I die. So this is for you. It completely escaped my mind. What is this? So is that? How can you forget your own marriage anniversary? Hey! Do you even care about your husband? Do you need help? Uh, sorry, you know, I didn't wrap it perfectly, but you know how it's. <laughs> I can see. Well, that's what, what matters is what is inside. You have seen it, right? <laughs> Voila! Uh, don't you like it? I like it. Why didn't you get me red buttons? Yeah. These shoes are outdated. Susan, at least you should appreciate his efforts for once. He got you a gift on a day like this. How about you? Did you buy anything for your husband? Can you mind your business? This is family matter. Can I have some time to talk to my husband? Uh, let's not fight about this. Um, uh, honey, um, you see, um, you have to manage this one, okay? I promise you, the next time you see those red soles, I'll look for them for you. Yeah? Thank you. Come on, eat your food. You forgot me. You have seen it. Mm. <clears throat> Mama? Mama? Mm -hmm. Which of the children ate this food? Ah, they ate it too. Mm. You need to have seen how they ate with relish, especially bright. Mm. No. Yes, in Jack. <laughs> can I can't remember when last I had meal like this. I'm not surprised when all your wife knows to cook is different types of foreign dishes. Bend down and cook like a real African woman. She will not. Ah. That's why I insisted you should not marry her. No, you refused. Now, what brought this talk now? Did I tell you I married my wife because of her cooking skills? Have you ever heard me complain about her cooking? What is it now? Gabriel, my son, you don't need to complain. Other men marry, and then they get fatter and fresher. Look at you. You married and you're looking older. You think I don't have eyes? Sometimes I just wonder the kind of heart you have, just like your father. Imagine that the woman did not remember even her wedding anniversary. Ah! Mama, I see my private life is not your business. So please don't talk about my wife. I'm not in the habit of talking about my wife with outsiders, okay? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so Obiageli, your mother, has become an outsider. Okay? Oh, this has confirmed my curiosity. Wait. Susan has bewitched you. Uh-uh. But if you talk nonsense now, I'll just leave this and, and get out of here. What is it? Because I'm eating your food. Now, what's my own? No, leave it and get out. It's you that hung out. No, keep your voice down. What is it? Ah, there's a reason why we came inside here to eat now. See, I will not talk again. But let it be known that I, Obiageli, your mother, I spoke out. You refused. Um, Mama. Oh, oh yeah. Is that me? Super. Soup has a lot to finish. Now I'll call your wife, Susan, to come and give you more soup. As for me, I am going to bed. I think I don't like this. 
At least come and warm this thing for me now. This is. Yeah, uh, Mama, Mama. That is so sweet, man. Baby, you awake? No, I'm dreaming. As a matter of fact, we're both in La Land. He went ahead to eat your mother's food after telling you not to eat it. Gabriel, you have been looked for my trouble. You see that food you ate, you will punch. Except I don't serve a living God. Abraham's blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. Right. I am blessed in the morning. I am blessed in the afternoon. Mm. Abraham's blessings are mine. Let me ask you a question. Right, answer me. Hmm? Who was the first man God created? Hmm? Don't I, tell me you don't know. I, I, okay, answer. Adam. Adam, beautiful. Clap for her. You, you, you. Okay, I'll give you another chance. Who entered into the belly of the fish and stayed for three days? Okay. Isaiah. Isaiah. Hey, Susanne Bueno. Isaiah, this is unacceptable. I mean, I brought up your father in the way of the Lord. Why has your mother not done the same to both of you? I can't remember the last time we went to church. Eh? And why is that? Because Mommy doesn't like going to church. She says past most pastors are fake. Is she going there to serve pastors or to serve God? You know what, eh? Both of you prepare. Tomorrow, we are going to church. I really love that. Me Beautiful. Too. Me too. Mama, which skirt are we going to wear? Eh, uh, you know what? We'll go inside, get our clothes set, so that we do not go late to church tomorrow. Okay. Sunday school starts at 9 a.m. And grandma will never go to church late. Never. 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 Hello, my guy. How far now? Ah, I'm just waiting here, trying hard to concentrate on what I'm doing. Have you heard anything about the outcome of the QGM meeting yesterday? Can't you call somebody? Fred, call anybody now. So I have, I have to wait till tomorrow before I hear anything. <laughs> like I have a choice. Uh, no problem. If you hear anything, let me know. All right. Okay, kids. Time to go. Yeah, okay. I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. Huh? No. Why are you going to without me? Daddy, I, I told you yesterday that we were going to show this morning. Oh, that is so true. Okay, both of you have to pray for me today. Okay, Daddy. I'm very serious. Pray for me. Okay, Daddy. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. And whose permission are you taking my children out? Honye. Did I approve of you taking them to church? Susan, they are going with you. Gabriel, please stay out of it. The two of you inside now. Mama. I said inside this minute! Susan, they're going out to their grandmother. What's wrong with oh, you? Go, 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 go inside! Go, go, go inside! Susan, what? Don't worry for the Lilia Monfrey. There's nothing I wouldn't say. Is this your wife mentally okay? Mama, let me talk to her. Tell her it's a Biagelio. I'm, I'm, I'll talk to her. Uh, Susan! Susan! What kind of problem? Hey! Do not go to church on a Sunday. 
It's okay. Susan, why would you stop the children from going to church with Mama? They are my kids, okay? And they do exactly what I say they should do. They are my kids as well, and they are Mama's grandchildren. Do, do you even think before taking some of the actions you take sometimes? Gabriel, why don't you just start talking to me like this? I am the mother of your children, your wife. The kind of wife that does not listen to her husband, is it? Well, you and your mother cannot make a decision and I expect me to just accept it. Let me ask you a question. Do you really love me? Because if you do, you will take my feelings into consideration before taking some of the decisions you make sometimes. You are becoming a manipulative person and I will not take it. I will not give up. Susan, <laughs> do not make me regret ever marrying you. Because if you do, I will not look back, I promise you. Can I have a word with you? What about? I am no longer comfortable with you staying with us when I really love you. <laughs> Leaving my son's house, you mean? Leaving my house is what I mean. My husband and I were living in peace until you came, but now it's been one problem to another. <laughs> you should be ashamed of the rubbish that is coming out of your mouth. You want to throw your mother-in-law out of her son's house? Condemn no, me. No, 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 you dare to watch the world condemn me. Mama, don't dare me. If you do not want me to throw you out, stay out of my business. Leave my children alone, okay? I don't blame you. No, I really do not blame you. I mean, one would think that, I mean, how would you treat your mother? Is it? No, you dare me, Susan. Dare me, and I will show you what stuff that you're made of. I will tear you apart. Ha! This girl has got nerves. This is Obia Gilly. Um, babe, I'm really sorry for what I said earlier on. I did not mean it at all. Please, forgive me. I have only one question. Okay. And I need your sincere answer. Sure. Did I beg you to marry me? No, I was the one who begged you to marry me. So I did not ask you to marry me. No. I didn't beg you to marry me. Mm -mm. But every now and then you open your mouth and you keep threatening to leave me. I'm sorry. It will not happen again. Please forgive me. It's okay. I've heard you. Thank you. What are you doing? Um, <clears throat> nothing. It better be nothing. Gabriel, I don't want your body touching mine.
Gabby, uh, you're here. Fred, what are you doing outside here now? I got here and then the security man handed me this. Suspension later. Suspension? Why are they suspending us? But the government cancelled the contract, not us. They did, but you know, he said that that was the decision taken during the last uh, QGM. In our absence? Absolutely. Without us being able to defend ourselves? That's what he said. No no no, 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 come on, no, no, no. Listen, if you want to go in there, then be prepared to sleep in the police cell tonight. No. So what do you expect us to do? We don't have a job. Yeah, calm down, calm down. You see what will happen now? We we'll have to go somewhere, cool down, take one or two bottles of beer to be able to think straight. That's the only thing we have to do. I didn't come with my car, so we can go with your car. Let's get out from but here. But this doesn't make sense I now. Don't know, but Why don't you go and see them? Come on, I've tried. Just let's go out. Let's drive out from here, please. Come on, come on, just come on. Let's go out from here. I understand you. Let's hey. go out from here. Jesus. Hey. Hey, mm. Mm. how are the mighty funny? Just yesterday we were big boys, bully, and now we are jobless, just like that, no. in a flash. No, no, come on, I refuse to accept what you're saying. We're not jobless. If you say suspended, fine. You know, suspension is the right word rather than jobless. No, I refuse to accept that. Okay, friend, tell me, how long is this suspension going to last for? Is it one day or a week? Or is it one month or six months? Or is it one year or forever? Come on, wait, wait, listen. I know you not to be somebody that gives up easily. <sighs> All you need is just to pray. Pray until something happens. Push! You never can tell they might lift mm. the ban on the suspension. Mm. Do you understand that? So, well, this suspension is not even the least of my problems. My major problem is the one I'm thinking of right now. Very, very major problem. That is what I'm, is bothering me right now. So what is a major problem, bro? <sighs> My major problem right now is how I'm going to go home to face that woman in my house. That's my problem. Oh, come on, come on, bro. Are you the only man that has been suspended? No. Or do you want to hide it from her? I don't know. Is that what you want? Of course not. Sir. No, come on, tell her the way it is. Late and Gabriel is not back. He's possibly on his way back home. Mm. Have you called him? Mama, he's your son. Why can't you call him? Please, I have a headache. <laughs> Please, must you shout? <laughs> I think he's back. He must be the one. traffic on the way home. You look pale. Are you okay? Yes, actually, you look pale. Um, I've just been suspended from my job. What? Yeah. Gary, please tell me you're joking. I wish I was joking. There's this uh, very huge uh, government contract that Fred and I were working on. We persuaded our company to take on the contract in the hope that when we succeed we'll get a sizable commission from it. 80% into the completion of the project, the government suddenly pulled out of it. Mm -hmm. And because we're the ones that introduced them to the contract, 
the trees are coming to contracts were suspended. But um, all hope is not lost. I'm sure the suspension will be lifted very soon. It, it better be very soon, Gabe. Because I don't, I don't understand how I'm going to be living in the same house with a jobless man. So it better be very soon. It better be soon. Zan! That's not right. Your husband just got suspended and not sacked. What's the difference? Because I am trying to fathom this thing you're telling me. Do you think I'm here to suffer? Gabe, you better look for a way to reverse this suspension very soon. Because one morning, you're going to wake up and I am no longer here telling me suspension and sacks is the same thing. How, how, how are they not the same thing, for goodness sake? Think I'm here to suffer with you? Gabriel. Hey! hey. What kind of woman did you marry? Hey, no. Okay, here with me is um, a list of the things that should be happening in this house right now. Okay, so rule number one, it will be that you have to partake fully in the house chores. And that means that you will um, participate in washing and cleaning, sweeping and cooking. Okay? Cooking. I'm a terrible cook. And so? That means I will not be able to cook what is edible to the children. Well, you ask your mother to teach you then. I mean, like, <laughs> if you don't know how to cook, you ask your mother to teach you. Now, rule number two is that you have to wake up very early as maybe five o'clock in the morning to get the kids ready for school. I'm just saying, you know? And then you pick them up at three o'clock. Have I made myself clear? Anyway, you have to answer me to show that you comprehend. So I assume the silence means approval. Rule number three is that... Um, there will be no sex till father notice. I mean, a man without a job should not have an erection, right? All this because I was suspended from my job. Suspension is not a word, Gabriel. You've been fired. You don't have a job. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway, please, don't interrupt me when I speak. Don't. Rule number four that... Um, you cannot sleep until I return from the store. You have to stay up till I come back. Have I made myself clear? I hope you know I can come down to that shop and shut it down. I financed that business with my own money. Gabriel, I dare you to! <laughs> that tiny hole you opened for me is the store you're telling me I'm going to come there and shut it down. If I haven't taken care of that place, you think that place is simply in existence? <laughs> you, you obviously don't appreciate me anymore. Listen, there are a thousand men out there that would jump to have me as your wife. So if you think I don't have an option, I do. Get that straight. Mama, I'm really getting tired of Susan. The way things are going, it's like she wants to turn me into a houseboy in my own house. I'm not surprised, my son. Susan is that kind of woman that wants to control and intimidate her home. Control me? Me? Gabriel, inside my own house? Wait, is, is it because I don't have a job? <laughs> what other control are you waiting for? Is she not controlling you already? You're just complaining because you're broke. Mama, I am not broke. I actually have some enough money saved up enough to start life again. 
Um, my friend Fred advised me not to tell Susa. Oh. And you listen to him. He must be a good friend. Mm. Oh, that's good. So what do you intend to do now? Will they still lift the suspension? <sighs> Mama, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just so confused right now. You don't need to be confused, my son. All you need to do is to pray about it. <laughs> eh. <laughs> I can't even remember the last time I prayed. <laughs> Whether God will even listen to me, sir. <laughs> it doesn't matter, my son. Just go on your knees and tell him what you want. So funny. What happened to the stew I left here before I went to work? I used it. The children were hungry. So I boiled rice and used the stew on it. What kind of rubbish is that? Did you take permission for me before opening my fridge? Do, do I have to go out to work every day and come back home to nothing? So I go to work in the morning, I come back at night and there's no food for me to eat. Susan, there's soup in the freezer. Why don't you eat that? You cannot tell me what to eat. This should be the last time. Grandma. Why is mommy always shouting at everyone? You just saw her. Why didn't you ask her? Should I go and ask if her? If you like. Uh, please, please, just watch if you want to watch. Uh, don't disturb me. Gabe. Gabe. Hmm? I need you to tell your mother to stay away from anything that belongs to me in this house, okay? What is it of yours that she took? I left the stew in the fridge. I came up from work today and it was not it was not there. Oh, um, actually, I'm at fault. I was the one who asked her to warm the stew for the children. I even had some, the remaining. Well, I don't care who had the stew or didn't have the stew. Tell your mother to stay away from anything that belongs to me, else I will throw her out of this house. You're okay? joking, right? Susan, I have told you time and time again, my mother is not leaving this house until she's ready to leave. In case you don't know, I will not send my mother out of my own house. It is my house too, Gabriel, okay? I built this house from start to finish with my hard-earned money. Well, I will not be feeding a jobless man in the same house. Tell her to stay away from anything that belongs to me. I will not be afraid or scared or resist kicking her out. Gabriel, my son, I think it is in our best interest that I go back to the village. I'm no longer comfortable with your wife's behavior. Mama, I can't be living here on the account of Susan now. What of us here? Me, your grandchildren. I have to. I, I, I just have to. I'll leave in the next three days. Please. Just respect my decision. It's my mama. And I want to thank you for your patience all this while. I know it hasn't been easy. You're welcome, my son. Uh, hold on, mama. Hey, Fredo, how far? No, I haven't. What? You're kidding me. Where? Okay, I'll check it and call you back. Okay. 
I'll give you. I hope everything is okay. Uh, yeah, I think. Hold your mama. I'll say so. It's true. Eh? Um. <laughs> they just uh, lifted the suspension. Eh? And it's in the email here. Lifted what? See. Hey, Okwadezi, Oku. I knew it. I knew I cannot leave this place without good news. Hey! 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 House. Is that not what you want? I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I, I know. I, I know I've been a, a, a horrible daughter in law to you and I've been a bad wife to Gabe. But I'm ready to change all of that now. I promise you, I'm ready to change. I'm sorry. Susan. Is, is, it, is, is this you? Mama, it's me. It's me. It's Susan. It's me. I've offended you and I'm sorry. And you are, you are kneeling before me? Please. It's okay, I have to go. Ah, please, 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 please. And you are crying. Sorry, please. Susan. No. Stand, stand. Get up. It hasn't come to that. Thank you. You don't need to apologize to me. Go and ask your husband for forgiveness. I, I know, I know. Mama, and I promise you I will. I will. But I surely would need your help. Huh? You need my help? Please. Children, please. No. Just no. Mama. Oh, no. Your grandchildren are begging, please. Look at your grandchildren are begging you. Susan, please. Don't cry. I'm sorry. Oh. It's okay. I'll stay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let me get your let me get your back inside. Let me get your back inside. All right, let's go. Let's go inside. Susan.
He's here, he's here, he's here. He's here. He's here. Surprise! What's going on here? What, what's with all the decorations? Uh, are we celebrating something? You're, you're celebrating you, my love. <laughs> you. Uh, what, what's... Susan, is everything okay? Mama? What's going on here? Now, please calm down. Oh, listen to your wife. I know this is a bit of a surprise. Look, I have done all forgivable things to you. And since we got married, I have not appreciated you like a good wife should. And I'm asking for your forgiveness. I'm sorry. You know the things I did to you was just out of sheer ignorance. And, and low self-esteem and personal hatred that I've carried in my heart for so long. And I'm, I'm just trying to make things work now. I'm sorry. Yes, I did. Give it to me. Well, it's not with me now. When I get it, I will give you. Huh? Give me my money. I said give me my money, Papa Susan, give me my money. Woman. Are you saying that I should take permission from you to take money from my own house? For your information, next time before you touch my bag, you have to take permission from me because it is my bag. Can I have my money, please? You see, that money that you took from this bag is not my money. That money that you took from this bag is contribution. Is, is my meeting contribution money. Can I have my money? So you are not calling me a thief. Give me so my you money. are calling me a thief. I don't know. Don't give me my money. Woman, you are calling me a thief. Listen, the next time you do, I will teach you a lesson of your life. You slapped me on top of my money. Oh, this man, I don't know what I've done to you. Leave me not to cry. This slap is burning me. The slap and the money. Don't tell me. Leave me not to cry. Leave me not to cry. Leave me not to cry. Oh God, I'm miserable. Oh God, I'm miserable. Oh God, I'm miserable. Can you love me, God? To to come come. Can you love me, God? To to pay pay. This one, this one, this one. Do I go? Yeah, Mama Susan. Uh, Papa Susan. What happened to the TV at the city room? Oh, the TV? Uh. I've sold it now. Eh? Did I hear you well? I sold it. You sold the television I bought with my hard earned money. Do you know what I went through to buy that television? Mm. Eh? 
I sold it and used the money to replace my own money. My hard earned money too. You are mad. I'm not. I mad. see that you are mad. You are the one that is mad. This one, I see that you are mad. Ah. I will kill you. 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 Susan. Leave this place. A few months later, she died. No. My father didn't waste time marrying a different wife. But karma caught up with him. Hmm. He died shortly after. Oh. I was just lucky that my auntie came to get me. My mother's sister, she took me away from my father's people. And ever since then, I've just had this it's a hatred in my heart that I've just carried around for years. But after seeing all these incidents that's been happening around me, I've just come to realize that I have the absolute best man in the world as a husband. I've come to realize that life is too short to hold grudges. I'm begging you, I just want us to be one happy family. Mama, please, please don't. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm glad you're making this change. I will always love you. No matter what, you'll always be the woman I love. I love you so much. To the end, the end of my life. I think this calls for um, a nice dinner somewhere. Mm. I know a nice cool place. Ooh. Bright! <laughs> Angel! Respect is the order of the day. Let's go. 